My dad told me a long time ago, if you always want a job, learn a trade. Doesn't matter what trade it is, because then you'll never go hungry. And that has played true for me forever. I think one of the biggest things about any of these programs and any of these instructors that we visited is these are the squeaky wheel, like in the best way possible. If you hit it with a rough stone, it's gonna gouge it. Josh, I mean, he reached out directly and just said, hey, how do I get involved? You're gonna do a practice test play? Yeah. Okay, so what It's really hard to say no when people reach out in that way with the best intentions. The goal is you come to class like this and you want to leave and be able to go get a job as a welder. The core like, kids are from here, the almost like their last stop, you know? They're really not geared to go to college. They're kind of wondering what's going on. Then they come in here and then their whole world changes. I have other teachers asking me, uh, so what are you doing? Because they ditch every other class except yours. And I'm over here making them sweat. They're dirty, beat up, and tired by the time they leave my class. I'm giving them freedom and trust to operate machinery that's thousands of dollars, you know, something that they wouldn't have been trusted to do before. I feel that students that take a welding program, you know, they're oftentimes put into these programs maybe because they're not doing so hot in other areas. And I feel that that can be kind of discouraging to feel like things aren't really working out, I'm gonna end up as a welder. So I'm here to show people that it's actually a huge opportunity that they have to create a career. No fusion, fusion, no fusion, fusion, no fusion. It's every single one of those little scallops. So if there's any load that's put on that, it's a concern for it being the potential failure point. Because the precision pulse doesn't overreact. One of the super unique things about this trip is Lincoln sent along one of their top field trainer, educator, problem solving people, Mark Fisher. That determines really how long that plate should take you to weld out. I'm here because I have a goal to train myself out of a job. And I know that there are people that want to learn and know the same things that I do. Not all MIG wires are created equal. He's another one of these super passionate welding folks that is out there solving problems every single day. So to have someone like that come in and, and co-teach a class with me, I personally feel like I was the one that learned the most in this class. You don't have to stay in this you know, quaint little area in the valley. You can go weld in Providence, Rhode Island and work on nuclear powered submarines. There's no limit to where welding can take you if you choose. There's so many opportunities in welding. But I'm gonna keep that wire. I tell my kids, you guys ever see on the freeway, big truck pulling the nice boat or the sea dews right? Look on the back window. You might see a sticker that says IBEW or local iron workers, like something that signifies that that person works in the trades. Okay. I let them know that this is the possibility and they're really taking it by the reins. You know, over the past couple of years, we've hit just about every corner of the United States. I'm gonna let you go here in a second. That's been a really eye-opening experience for me to see firsthand the challenges that welding instructors face on a daily basis. And the challenges that students face, not only from just learning how to weld, but that perception from their peers and parents and guidance counselors and teachers. That's really my main goal with coming out and doing these things. Welding is actually a really good career. It's a huge opportunity for someone and it's not even the sky's the limit anymore, like space is the limit. <laughs>